from a discussion on the country's IT roadmap, insights on the opening up of the ASEAN economic community, new ways of sourcing and delivering work, and the impact of digital technology on running our businesses. We hope that SoftCon will equip you with the necessary knowledge and perspectives to face an ever-changing IT market landscape. Thank you for choosing to attend SoftCon 2014 and let the conference begin.
and you would like to so I'll open the pack. I'll send to the pack. How, how could AT and T collaborate with companies like Accenture to grab all the dust here? someone is asking you for a bid for a project they don't really care so much uh, unless you are already known to be a great company they care about the individual profiles and if the work can be done so in such scenarios uh, maybe corporate culture is not important <laughs> I'll let you take a stab at that okay maybe for parting words for my end one of the interesting surveys I saw is a survey that uh, IDC came out with. They said in the future, in the future of work, there will be three types of distinct companies. One would be the large enterprise, and their main core competency would be constructing and deconstructing work. So that this, this work could be insured and partnered, you know, portioned out to you know, uh, laborers, whether these are employees or, or, you know, or part-timers, right? The second one would be a the part-timers or the freelancers that you know as they get organized is going to be a probably the fastest growing segment of the work population in the future because they are a skill set and as they get more organized then they become relevant the focus of that group will be specifically on skills capabilities specific skills for individuals and the ability then for things like self-realization for these individuals work-life balance and the like the third would probably be a green company in terms of corporate social responsibility, what they give back to economies, and the contribution to you know the better world, and those would be the three distinct kinds of work available for our future. And I think each of them would have a place and would have a value in in, in our futures. Um, on on one of my slides, I I I showed a potential uh, marketplace like perhaps Levi's, right where. Everything is done by freelancers, but they've created a freelance management system, a platform where quality and, and 
and and time is uh, assured where it it can be done somewhere here but it can be shipped to to Italy and it's the same quality where Levi's would be would be happy to stamp the Levi's logo on on that jeans no? but again it, it's it's a scenario that we that that could be a possibility it's actually really interesting because, um, especially in the startup world, um, whenever you want to take advantage of like a brand new technology, you, you need a lot of capital. Um, and that's often the, the thing that you don't have as a startup. Um, so for example, in, in our space, we've got a few different teams um, that work in industrial design and they have clients from all over the world. Um, and they're, they're talking about how they like to prototype. So that's where the 3D printing comes in. Um, but it's quite expensive to get a 3D printer in and choose from the different softwares and, and have a space to put the, the, the beast. Um, so they petitioned A-Space and we thought it was a really cool idea. So we worked with a 3D vendor to get a printer in so that they could use it for prototyping. And interestingly, collaborative workspaces where people are coming together to have a choice to work. One of the challenges um, that we have, so cloud, as they say, is very complex. Join me in welcoming on stage, Professor Richard Cruz. So I'm from AIM, and the nice thing about being a teacher in AIM is that um, you get to talk about things without getting accused of anything. So uh, I just wanted to say that I, I was watch I was listening to George's presentation before mine about all of the products from Globe. And aside from, of course, the products are quite interesting, but what I really find interesting is just looking at how Globe is changing their strategy. And so what I'd like to do from a Gartner perspective is kind of take you up to that 30,000 foot view around some of the trends that we're seeing in the industry, uh, some of the things that we suggest that you consider uh, and plan for and some actions that you might take in your organisations and, and as you deal with your customers and clients. This thing, these little cat ears are an awesome little prop. Uh, they measure my kind of interest levels, right? And so. What the ears are, are very much, what they, what they represent is if the ears are down, I'm not that interested. If the ears are up, then I'm interested. And then if the ears are moving like crazy, then I'm hyper interested in whatever it is that we're talking about, right? Please welcome on stage Amazon Web Services Asia Pacific Partner Manager, Ms. Chetna Bastani. Um, 
As I was flying into Philippines uh, yesterday, actually, uh, before I moved out of Singapore and, you know, was uh, going to take a flight to Philippines, I just told my manager that, you know, I won't see you for the next two days. I'm in Philippines. And he's like, where are you going and why are you going to Philippines? And I'm like, uh, I didn't answer him at that point of time. I thought, I'll come back and tell you why. And um, today, as we were going through all the sessions, and uh, today, as I saw the bunny ears that Alex just presented, I was thinking if I could take a picture of all of you in the bunny ears, uh, you know, <laughs> listening to this last presentation, I think uh, I can just give him that picture, and I don't have to explain him why I'm here. So hopefully, Alex would do that next time around. And share. First one, from the same table, was his hands raised. Oh, okay, congratulations. Okay, just validating. Congratulations, Merry Christmas. And with that, we would like to thank everyone. See you all for Softcon 2015. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone. Peace. Thank you very much.